Assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Kareem, Eid Mubarak. Congratulations to you for making it to the end of Ramadan. I know it's been a bittersweet experience, you know, having Ramadan and now saying goodbye to it. Alhamdulillah, we get to celebrate Eid for three days. And I'm super excited. And I've come to you guys with a three-in-one video, Get Ready With Me. A little chit-chatty, but mainly focusing on the details here. And I did a very sultry you know, eye makeup, we have a purple look going on, feel me? Guys, we have the whole vibe going on here. So, if you want to see how I achieved this look and what I'm wearing for E, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. E Mubarak everyone, in today's 3-in-1 look, I am going to be doing a very sultry, smoked out liner with a very natural base. So let's get right into it. So of course I make sure that my face is moisturized, well moisturized. First step into having a really good base for your makeup is making sure that your base period is good. So you have to moisturize your skin, make sure it's hydrated, make sure it looks good, you target all your problem areas. Then you go ahead and prime. The primers of choice for today are my Laura Mercier Hydrating Canvas Primer and my the Milk Hydro Grip one. So I like to use two primers, one to hydrate and one to make sure that the makeup is at least staying in specific spots on my face, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna go in with the Hydro Grip one and I'm gonna put it like in my T-zone, like places where I would wear a mask, all this area where I rub my nose, just to make sure that the makeup is staying a little bit more taut on my face, if that makes sense. It looks a little bit crazy because we have sunscreen on underneath, but trust me, all this matters. So the next step is I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, and apparently this is a primer. Um, this has actually replaced my MAC um, strobe cream. I used to use a strobe cream all the time, but this has replaced that. I don't know, it just it looks better. <laughs> I like them both, but I use this now. So I have two colors here. One is my winter shade and one is my summer shade, but recently what I've liked to do is kind of apply this to the high points of my face and this as in the lighter shade and then take the darker shade and put it around the perimeter. And I don't know, it just makes, it makes, it makes a bit of a difference, I can't lie, it makes a bit of a difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in. I blend the darker shade in first. Blend that part in first around the face and then go into the lighter shade and put it all together okay so now that we have that all blended in I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer One second. I have recently started using the Kosas um, concealer and I love it it's super hydrating I heard Haley we were talking about it and I was like okay I need to get my hands on that because I have dry skin and dry under eyes and it's a, it's a game changer. So what I go ahead and do first is I take a concealer that's my skin tone, which this is, and you know, I kind of just apply it like all through pretty well. Like this. And because this is so hydrating, I like to let it sit on my face for a little bit um, before I blend it out. And I'm still gonna go over with another color, so. Forehead. I usually don't put makeup on my forehead, but because I've like gone through, I don't know, some weird breakout, we're gonna put it on my forehead, okay? That hyperpigmentation is not cute. And next, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way in the shade Chestnut, and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. And I didn't put any of that other concealer on my nose because it's a higher point of my face and I want a brighter shade on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here. And I'm gonna let that sit. And while this is sitting and really marinating into the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take my complexion stick from Black Radiance. And you guys can use any one, it doesn't really matter, as long as like a contour shade that you like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. Now, if I were doing my makeup in a different way and I already had foundation on, I would put this onto my brush first and buff it in, but because I don't have like my foundation on yet, I'm still going over, I can just go straight in. That is what I'm doing. I don't typically contour my nose, but today, 
it's Eid, it's the Muslim Met Gala, alright, so we're going all out, we're doing everything, um, yeah, so while that's baking, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush and brush this in, you know, kind of like in an upward motion, like so... And the reason why I put my concealer, if you guys go ahead and watch like another chit chat get ready with me that I did maybe in 2020, you would see that I've always done like this kind of base where I put the contour and concealer on underneath my foundation. And it's just because it gives me that really like no makeup, like no harsh lines, very natural look, right? That's what it does for me and I really like that look. I think it looks good on my face. Um, if I'm doing my makeup, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, it just works for me guys it works for me now I'm gonna go ahead with this skinnier brush and you guys can use any brush you want makeup is like your own personal experience right trial and error I see whatever brush I feel will like go and do what I needed to do just use that to blend it through blend this little part apparently this shortens your nose I don't know how true that is <laughs> but I do it anyways um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush that I got from the beauty supply store. Tragic story, actually, I'm gonna tell you guys um, after fixing what I'm doing. But I'm gonna take this and blend out my makeup because I think that when you use a brush first and then a beauty blender, you get the most coverage and the most seamless blend. But anyways, tragic story, right? So I was going, I think, for a photo shoot one day where I was gonna be doing my makeup and I was like rushing, already kind of running late and I hate running late. So I took my makeup brushes last minute, like that was the last thing that I packed, I forgot it. And as I was rushing into the car, I put it on top of the car and I had to go back in the house to get something else that I had forgotten. And then I rushed back into the car, but I didn't put my makeup brushes in the car. So I'm driving and this guy, <laughs> As I'm driving is trying to tell me something and I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. Like, I don't know what you're saying right now. So I just kind of fast sheeted. Do you get it? Like I fast sheeted, I ignored whatever kept going. I was like, is it my tire? Was it my tire? Tell me why I heard doo -doo 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 -doo, as I was just like, as I kept driving. And I didn't know what that was. I was like, hmm, maybe that's what he was talking about. I still didn't know what that was. When I got to where I was going, I realized that doo -doo 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 sound was my makeup brushes. My makeup brush collection that I've been building for like, like five years, right? Everything just gone in one day. All because of what? After that day, I was like, mm -mm, no more rushing anywhere. I hate being late, but I'm, if I'm going to have to be late to preserve all of my things that I had spent money on, that's just what's going to happen. I hate rushing. I hate being late. Like, I do not have any thrill out of that. That was like the worst experience ever. I was devastated. Like, that was so annoying. Anyways, started a whole new collection, getting things here and there, and here we are with it. But now that I've blended all that out with the brush, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender, and this one is from Real Techniques, if I'm not mistaken. Either Real Techniques or the one that you see at Target. I'll put it in the description box, but the one that you see at Target. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in all through my face and just make sure that everything is pretty seamless. And this is super important because for a flawless base, like the most important part in my opinion, aside from having a super hydrated, you know, healthy skin underneath, is blending. Okay, blend to your arm hurts. This is our workout, girls. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this hourglass um, blush stick. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but it's, it's a blush stick. I use it um, to apply like my cream blush on and I really like this shade. It's in the shade Adore. It's so pretty guys, it's so pretty. And Hourglass honestly makes such great like complexion products and just great products period. And this one is one of my favorites. I like this one and I like the one from Rare Beauty as well. That one, yeah, they're both really, really nice. Um, but anyways, after I've done doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush and just tap it on like that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this nose piece in just like that and I really don't have to go in with the foundation guys I don't like I think that this base looks really really good but we're going for full coverage today we're going for full coverage we're going for boom 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 so we are gonna go ahead and take our foundation and today I'm gonna be using the new foundation from Charlotte Tilbury it's um, the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation 
and it's in the shade 15 neutral and this is like my summer shade apparently um and i do like to use like a darker shade for my foundation um whenever i can because i think that my makeup looks best that way because i'm going ahead and i'm highlighting with like a concealer and stuff so it looks best but i'm gonna go ahead and take this on the back of my hand if it will come out honestly two pumps is too much but that should be enough i'm gonna take that and then i'm gonna take my fenty brush and i'm just gonna take a little bit and just work it from down here this way so yeah this is kind of how i just blended all over everything that i've already done and i start from down here because down here is where i've applied like the least amount of product um i don't really want a lot under my eyes anyways and if you ever feel like you've put so much blush on or too much of your liquid blush on this is like a great step order to put on your makeup because then this will like dull it down a little bit you know what i mean okay so now that i have that all blended in we're gonna go back over with the beauty blender and just make sure everything is super seamless and as you can see like it didn't make too much of a difference where it's like oh like you look crazy different like oh it's caked on it still looks pretty skin like which is the goal right but it's enough of a difference where you're like oh wow like skin looks smooth and that's what we want it's like enough full coverage but not overwhelming the skin so the next step in this whole routine is I'm gonna go in with my third concealer shade and I don't remember what color this is but it is from Hourglass I have like four different shades from Hourglass and I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle just a little bit in the, in the corner of my eye and right here kind of to like lift my eye a little bit more do the same thing on the other side why not right <laughs> so I'm gonna let that sit on my face for a little bit and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and take the Charlotte Tilbury spray and spray my face down I typically like to do this in between putting on my makeup because that's just reinforcing your makeup staying in locked in I would advise that and it helps your product blend a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out on my chin first and when you leave it on longer that's how you get like more coverage that's why I try to like let it stay on for as long as possible but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in now and just kind of keep it in this places that I applied it and guys can you see the difference that makes like it literally brightens up under your eyes so it makes a huge difference fine go <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty um, setting powder in the shade Blondie and guys I am so late to the game like the girlies were using it they were talking about it I wasn't listening um but yeah what I do is right I'm just gonna like dab a bit on my brush to that first because you always want to set before you bake guys like that's a big mistake people you do. You want to set before you bake. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender again and just make sure that everything is blended out. There are like no creases. Right? And then I take my brush and I just swipe it over just like that. Because now it's set, right? All that cream product is set in and then we can go over it. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and basically do that to everywhere that I applied the concealer to. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go ahead and take a bit of the product and use that to bake, if you will. So then what I do after that <laughs> is I take this like mini Laura Mercier one and I think this is in the shade translucent, it's brighter, and I take a little bit of it and I put that directly right, right here, right? And guys, I'm telling you. Like it makes a difference. I have super dry skin, so I can't let this sit on for too long. But it makes a difference, right? So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's it called? Airbrush Flawless. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe this off with that and that is how I get like that super flawless like blurred under eye effect 
Okay, so now you guys always ask me what blush to use, what bronzer to use. Guys, this is the palette I use. This right here, this is my holy grail. So this is the Morphe um, 8D palette, and it's a face palette, and I have mine in the shade um, Deep Glam. And this is what it looks like. These shades are super pigmented. I've had this palette for a little bit now, and guys, like, honestly, it does what it needs to do for me. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't even contour, like I don't actually use a contour shade, but today I'm going to, cause I want like that super <laughs> look. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it like in the hollows of my face, like right there. A little bit of dimension, right? Do the same thing like right here. Even with like my nose, I'll take a little bit, literally a little bit and put it at the tip of my nose. Because again, like I said, the girlies are saying it shortens their nose. I don't know how true that is, but we're going to do it anyways. Then I go in with the um, bronzer shades, the, both of them, and I just kind of like mix it and bronze up like that. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go in with the shade, what shade is this? I don't know. This shade right here in my um, palette. And I'm going to mix the two actually. And a little bit goes a long way. This is super pigmented. I'm just gonna like dab it onto the apples of my cheeks. Blush is the first thing to go. So I'm always like heavy handed with my blush. And I like more pigmented shades that I know are gonna stay on a little bit longer. But anyways, now that we've done all that, we have like two more steps to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the Merit Beauty. Um, it's a volumizing pomade from Merit. And I really like this product. Honestly, it's so nice. I used to use this one all the time before I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and I'm actually going to use both of them. This one adds color to my brows, which I like, and I always go for like a more natural brow. Like, honestly, I don't care to do anything like super crazy with like my brows. Like, <sighs> all right. Then I go ahead and I take this like dollar store beauty supply store um, liner, and I just slightly fill in the arch just a little bit. Wherever I feel like, oh, there's not enough hair there, I just do that. Like so, that's really it. And then, I'll go back in one more time with another little brush job. And this one is from Anastasia. And I just make sure that it looks all together and it's going like the same direction. But I like to go for a natural look. That's just me. Eyebrows are very personal to your face. They are face framing, so you do what looks for you. Now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the Born This Way and just put that on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just blend that all through my lid. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Morphe palette. Which one is this? The 39A palette. Um, and I'm gonna take a brown shade, and honestly guys, just make this personal to you. I'm taking like a deep brown shade, a warm brown shade, and I'm just taking that right into my crease. Um, this is not anything to define, so don't feel nervous. Just kind of go with it and play. And I told you guys, blending is pizza. Just keep blending until it looks good to you. Like that. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with another <laughs> deep shade, the deeper um, brown. And kind of reinforce that into the crease. A little bit more dimension, if you will, because I don't have a super defined crease, so I kind of have to do stuff like this. I have like, yeah, I think they call it like a hooded crease or something like that. But this is kind of what I do. And I always have like the mirror like down here so I can open my eyes like this so I can really see where my eye sockets are and like where my crease is. And then I'm gonna go back ahead and just make sure that's diffused properly. Okay, now this is my next step. You guys can do this whatever you please, but I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and I'm using the um, Urban Decay Tattoo Liner. And for the look we're doing, it's really important to tight line. I'm not talking much because I need concentration here, y'all. But it's really important to tight line. Like, you want everything to be covered up pretty much. So, what we're going to do now, after I've gone ahead and I've 
I just applied all that in there. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with a warmer brown shade. And I'm gonna take this Morphe M709 brush and I'm just gonna use that to diffuse all under my eye. Like that black all under there. So we smoked it out <laughs> at the bottom and now I'm gonna smoke it out on the top a little bit. I'm not remembering the name, but when I was a kid, my grandma used to put um, T-roll, that's what we call it in our country. She used to put T-roll on my eyes and if I can find a baby picture of me, it was barely three months, I think at this point, my grandmother put it all over my eyes. Um, the prophet used to put it on, you know, it's, it's a Muslim thing. You wear it, it cleanses your eyes, it's a fashion statement, whatever. But she used to put it on my eyes all the time when I was a kid. Um, and she always wears it when she's going out, that's her makeup. So, kind of like tying that in for Eid, I thought that that would be really nice. So, we're pretty much almost done with like the difficult part here. Like I said, I'm just gonna imitate what I did at the bottom of my eyes to the top and smoke it out a little bit. This palette is currently <laughs> sold out, discontinued. It was the Desi X Katie collection um, with the Dose of Color, but I'm just going into this shade and taking like a cream color, taking that color and just popping that straight into like the middle of my eye and giving it that pop of color. see that when I put on my dress you'll see why this look just makes so much sense but anyways I'm gonna go back in with like a little bit of like a warmer pinky shade into the crease and stuff just to bring some warmth into the eyes I mean I like the warm eye I'm just kind of putting it at the ends here just like that and for some drama we're gonna go ahead and take a shimmer shade and this is also from the Desi X Katie um, palette I'm gonna use my finger actually and just pop it right where I put that light shade on and it's gonna look so pretty oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's what I'm talking about that is what I'm talking about that is what I'm talking about just dab that in there that like reflection going on oof I love it. I love it. I love it. I live for it. Um, one last time, going back in with a detailed brush and taking a darker brown shade just to make sure that what needs to be reinforced is reinforced, right? Yeah. All right, now it's time to decide what lashes we're going to put on, right? So we're going to go in with the um, I Envy Remy 3D Invisible Band Remy Lashes in the style Remy 3D01. Um, I always wear these lashes, honestly. Like, they're from the beauty supply store. It's nothing, like, super fancy. And I actually learned a new tip from Makeup by Mario, so we're gonna actually test that out today. He said that if you want your eyes to look a little bit more lifted, you want to put on your lashes, um, why does that look like that? You wanna put on your lashes in a way that in the beginning, it's stuck to your lash band, but towards the end, you kind of have it lifted up a little bit. So we're gonna try that out today and see what effect that gives us. Cause I want a lifted eye. I want that Bella Hadid snatch vibe. And I'm just going in with my lash glue, put that on. In the meantime, while that's drying, I'm gonna take my favorite mascara from Hourglass. And this is in, I don't know, it's unlocked. It's the cylinder bottle and I'm gonna just go ahead and put some mascara on this is like a really like good tip when you are wearing lashes is to put on mascara I know some people don't but guys it makes a difference I'm telling you it makes a difference it makes it blend in so much more seamless okay we have the lashes on we've secured it everything is good so what I'm gonna do now is go back in with that Huda Beauty um, powder I probably should have already done this but I'm gonna set down here on my face just to make sure that that's pretty locked in. And then I'm gonna bake a little bit just to give more of that snatch for life. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. I'm just kinda like, you know. And I'm gonna actually do a little bit more on the sides for more of that snatch vibe. It's not needed, but we're here, why not, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my Vera Beauty setting spray because it brings moisture, hydration, and that like glow back to my face. And then <laughs> yeah, fan it in, guys. 
pro tip when you put on setting spray always make sure you like fan it in because that helps lock it in even better I don't know who said that but honestly it's worked and we're going with two different setting sprays so now I'm gonna take the airbrush flawless the, the, the one from shred silver you guys know and I'm gonna do the same thing By the end of this, honestly, like, you should have toned arms. Like, if you're gonna go out and stuff, do your makeup, all right? Beat your face because your arms will be toned in whatever outfit you're gonna be wearing. You're gonna see, because there's a whole workout. It might be more toned on one side than the other. All right. Guys, do you see that? Deep it. Like, can you guys see? Now, can you see, like, everything is just blended together so nicely so nicely so like my last step here is i'm gonna go ahead and take this ambient um hourglass palette and it's so beautiful just take a look at it i love this palette it's stunning um and i'm just gonna go ahead and take this little part of the my brush and i don't really wear highlighter and i wouldn't really call this a highlighter honestly but i do just put that like on my cheeks because it brings light to my face in a different way and i only put this on on the days that i'm doing like a full glam but i promise you guys it makes a difference it makes a difference now we're gonna go ahead and do our lippy um i want a pretty nude lip because of the dress that i'm wearing so i'm just taking off my chapstick so the first thing that I'm gonna go in with is my chestnut liner. I'm just gonna line my lips regularly. Okay, right, we've lined our lips. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade from Pixie. I love the shades of this, like these um, Pixie pencils, but honestly the quality is not the best, I can't lie, because every time something's always going on with the pencil on the inside. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this um, Pixie brown, it's like a deep brown whatever color and it's actually an eyeliner but okay we're using it as a lip liner and i'm only gonna go around my cupid's bow and like down here to reinforce that darker color and like it, it's almost like a contouring effect it's like a contour and then a bronzer like the same thing we did over here so and if you do overline your lips make sure you overline with the lighter shade and regular line with the darker shade trust me when you try it out, you see a much big difference that's actually like gonna look good um, and not so obvious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this um, shade from MAC, it's called Magic Mirror, and it's a really, really nude shade. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lip. And I know it looks crazy at first, but just trust me. <laughs> I take off the excess after blending it in, right? And it's still pretty bright. And then I take this lip um, glass from MAC as well. It's called Primordial. And I go over top of it. My bride price is like up here right now. Honestly, like my bride price is very, very up there. Uga. Uga. Honestly, like. Or you told sorrow like I mean are you serious <laughs> all right so the very last thing that I do when I do my makeup before I leave my house is I go in with my super goop resetting refreshing mist and this is an SPF 40 because it's really important to me that my skin is always protected that's the only way I'm getting my skin back to normal after having like the worst breakout ever um, is making sure that it's protected and wearing SPF so I just go ahead and drench my face in that because I am not going to risk my skin, you know, having any crazy effects due to the sun just because of makeup. Mm -mm. So this is like a really good product. I've been using it a lot lately. Um, and I would recommend, y'all. I would recommend if you are a makeup girly, you need to be taking care of your skin. And SPF is like one of the most important products in my opinion. So now that we've done the makeup, we're gonna go ahead and put on the outfit and accessorize. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing. I'm really excited. All right, guys, we made it to the outfit portion of this video, and I'm wearing this stunning Avaya from Nofadine. Guys, this 
I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to let the B-roll speak for itself, but mashallah, this is the most stunning of I I've, I own myself. And I just paired it with this fan because I'm all, when I jump big, she gets, like the drama has to be dramaing, like the drama has to give. But let me go ahead and give you guys the details of this and then talk a little bit about Nofa Dean because honestly, it's a brand that I know that I'm going to still continue to shop from for a while because their quality Babes, it's impeccable. And on top of that, this is made to wear. So when you place an order and you select your size, it's they're making it specifically for you. And that, that is special to me. That is special to me. So I'm going to give you guys the details a little bit. And then I'm going to read off of their website, their mission statement, so that you guys can understand a little bit more about the brand. And, you know, get into some more B-roll and show you guys how I styled it, okay? So, first and foremost, let's talk about the details. So... You guys ever wear like your abaya and you hate the fact that it goes like this, like it comes all the way down because the arms are big? Yeah, so they came up with some sort of technology so that you kind of avoid that, right? So like there are clips on the inside of it. You just snap it and bring your hand out that way and that protects you from doing that. I remember seeing somebody's TikTok video, they were showing like their bias from like their mom's store and they're like, oh, I hate when that happens. And I was like, oh, wow, like what can you do to fix that? And then when I got this, I was like, bruh, genius. All Muslim girls are kind of going through the same thing when they put on these modest outfits and somebody came up with the technology to fix that. So now the second thing is this outfit is almost like a two in one. So this piece that I have on, this little skirt piece that's bedazzled, the star of the show, it's an attachment, right? It's an attachment. So you can wear this abaya on its own with like a black slip dress underneath, a white one, a purple one, whatever you feel, you can wear it underneath without this and just have that be, you know, the style. Or you can wear it like how I've done it with this add-on. Add-on that comes with it. It's not an add-on that you have to purchase separately. It comes with it. Or yeah, so you can just put it on and tie it at the back. There's actually holes that go in on the inside and you're supposed to tie it that way. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I liked it this way better, okay? It's ready to wear it, and I wanted to wear it the way I want to wear it. So, yeah, and then there's like this detailing in the back. If you guys can see the same little crystal gems that are on the front, they have it on the back, on the arms, all through the skirt. The quality, chef's kiss. The quality, chef's kiss. I love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And I can't wait to order a couple more things from them because honestly, this was it. Now, the way I paired it, it obviously came with this scarf already, you know, matching scarf, matching hijab. And I just tied it turban style because honestly, what I was originally going to wear with it was like a ghillie, like an, um, like the Asho K okay type of ghillie, like those ones. That's what I originally wanted to wear with it. And I'll send a picture of what I'm talking about so we can pop it on the screen here. But it was going to be really cute. And since I didn't have that, we went with this tying it in a turban style. It's still cute. Then I have on these shoes that I've shown you guys numerous times. Okay? And then our fan. <laughs> Jewelry, we kept it really minimal. I have the same Pandora ring that I wear all the time. These little huggies that I got from Pandora as well. And yeah, my makeup. And that's pretty much it. Now, let me go ahead and tell you guys their mission statement. I'm going to read it off for you. So, Nofa Dean Foundation. Here at Nofa Dean, our goal is to grow ourselves as an exciting new concept as we blend impeccable style, affordable prices, and top quality along with our steadfast dedication to help the community we serve. Now, I actually spoke with the owner of this brand, and one, she's a lovely woman okay she's like any of us muslim girls trying to figure out the best way to look luxe right look luxe but still keeping it modest right you don't want to just wear your boring old abayas that your mom bought for you when you were 13 through 15 and you're still wearing it you want something that shows i'm a woman and we had a discussion we were talking about all those muslim girls in dubai and saudi they always look so rich and so luxe what are they doing different and bringing that into the African and black women market and showing that as black women you can also have that look was super important to her and I'm just so happy I'm able to show you guys what we're talking about here. I mean, are you kidding me? Ah! So cute. Anyways, to continue, Nofa Dean Foundation is an energetic global platform initiated with the ambition and with a vision to spread awareness across the globe. 
Our foundation upholds our values through the creation of solar panel operated mosques and water wells in Islamic communities. We aim to do everything we can to partner up with various members of our society as we make it easier for Muslim communities to practice their deen and overcome socioeconomic barriers through our guidance, education, and resources. Now, one thing I do want to say about this is that, yeah, she's doing things, you know, in Africa, she's doing things here in America, she's based in New York, and our purchases help because I know a lot of times we're like, oh, these abaya companies, the prices are so crazy. But to see somebody having high prices for luxe items, because I would pay. And they also let us know that with every purchase made with Nofadeen, a portion is donated to Nofadeen Foundation. And this will help with the charity projects so that the Muslim communities we work with have ease of access to clean water and sustainable musk. So like I said, she's doing things here in America. She's doing things here in, I'm doing things in Africa and in any other community that she can, you know, connect with and, be able to make a change and that's super admirable but i do want to point out i don't know if you guys remember earlier this year in january there was a fire somewhere in brooklyn and a lot of muslims passed away um in alai wanu in alai raju may their souls rest in peace but those survivors they didn't have their modest wear anymore you know they didn't have clothes because they all burnt down to the ground and nofadim was actually one of the foundations that gave clothes away to them so that they could be covered and they could have you know just more than what they had at that point everything was gone so they were helping in every way that they can so if you were looking for a brand to support and you're looking for a new modest brand outside of the popular ones that you've already known about Nofa Dean is the one you guys need to be shopping from like I'm so proud of her I'm so proud to see a woman of color doing this and taking up space within the modest fashion realm you know you see fast fashion doing it you see you know mostly brown communities having brands that are selling cool products but to see Women of color doing it, and it's great quality. It's ready to wear. There's attention to detail. I'm obsessed. I'm supporting it, and I can't wait to see you sell, girl. I'm proud of you. And yeah, we're done talking about that now. <laughs> okay, and to wrap up the video, before we go, I'm gonna tell you guys what set I'm wearing today, and that is "Playing with the Devil" by Killian Stukfawa. We're not playing with the devil. We're only playing with angels. But that's the name of the set, and it smells really, really nice. And I mix it with something, but um, uh, I gotta keep some things to myself, okay? I gotta get keep some stuff. But this is the main tone of the set that we're using today. It smells really nice. And, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I can't wait to continue to make content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for the love that you show me on the content I made throughout this Ramadan. Please comment down below what it is that you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed, okay? Because how else are you going to know what's going on? And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that post notification bell so that we can be locked in, okay? And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.